Today I want to discuss recoverable depreciation, as listed on your insurance claim paperwork. It can seem a bit tricky, but I'll break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Let's use a skateboard for example. Basic Depreciation Recap 1. Brand new skateboard. You bought it for $100. 2. After one year. It's now worth $80 because it's been used, so $20 is the depreciation. What's recoverable depreciation? Recoverable depreciation is like a promise from the insurance company. They say, we know your skateboard has depreciated, but if you actually spend the money to repair or replace it, we'll give you the depreciated amount back. In essence, buying you a brand new skateboard. How it works. 1. Initial payment. After the storm, the insurance company looks at the depreciated value of your skateboard, which is $80. They give you this $80 to start with. 2. Repair or replacement. You then go and fix your skateboard or buy a new one. Suppose it costs you $100 to do this. 3. Submitting receipts. You show the insurance company the receipt that proves you spent $100. 4. Recoverable depreciation payment. The insurance company then pays you the $20 difference. This is the recoverable depreciation. So, you end up getting back to the full value of your skateboard before it was damaged. Why does this exist? The idea behind recoverable depreciation is to encourage people to actually repair or replace their stuff. The insurance company wants to make sure the money goes towards making things right again, rather than just being pocketed. So in short, recoverable depreciation is like a promise from the insurance company to give you back the depreciated amount if you spend the money to repair or replace your damaged item.